this out of work. Can we have Jessica Finnecaro up here, please? Michelle McVee made it. How about that? I, I got a podium in my way. I didn't see it the whole time. There was a Matt truck. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was Joe Lagardi in the way. I'm sorry. How are you doing over there? I seen you on Fox News and stuff over there. Unbelievable. Did you get your meat platter over there? What? You got your meat platter over there? Nobody else got a meat platter on your table. He is choking God, right? right? Jessica Finicaro, thank you. Clap for Jessica Finicaro. That's, you can't see the script that says you're supposed to clap there. Thank you. I was honored when Tom called me up a few weeks ago to introduce our next speaker because she's always been a personal inspiration to me. A few moons ago, I was an uh, intern actually in the State House, and I remember I gave her uh, sort of a, a very squealing, enthusiastic uh, Hi, my name is Jessica Finicaro. I want to be a politician someday. You're the greatest. Um, and, and was really enthusiastic. So it's interesting many years later to uh, be introducing her today. It means a lot to me. Two years ago, despite the fact that our next speaker was a Democrat like myself, Valley Patriot publisher Tom Duggan fell in love with State Auditor Suzanne Buck when he learned that she had exposed millions of dollars in waste, fraud, and mismanagement in the state government. Can we get a round of applause for that? Millions of dollars. Now, if anybody remembers around that time, Tom was walking around telling every single person that he could about how she had exposed that waste, fraud, and abuse of our tax dollars in Massachusetts. That was for welfare programs, and Auditor Bump was subjected, as Tom talked about a lot, to the full force of the political establishment on Beacon Hill, rattling insiders so much that the Boston Globe chose to endorse a Republican last year. That to him was major. The Globe endorsed a Republican. You, you guys don't get that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm the only guy that still reads the globe. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, I know I heard it many times when this was happening. Well, our Democrat auditor exposed many of the flaws in the state social safety net programs so that money will be there for those who need it. And I think that's really important. Among other things, Auditor Bump found 1,000 164 deceased people who are receiving benefits and 30,000 EBT welfare assistant cards that were completely unaccounted for. By the way, she also exposed the MBTA shortcomings long before this year's problems became so obvious. As a watchdog of the taxpayers' money, State Auditor Suzanne Bump has shown she can walk the walk. And that's something that everyone here knows, Tommy Duggan, Valley Patriot, myself, and most of us here absolutely love. Ladies and gentlemen, last year's First Amendment Award winner, Massachusetts State Auditor, Suzanne Boat. a standing ovation, are you kidding me? Well, this is an amazing evening. I had no idea that you had so many adoring fans who were going to say such nice things about you. So, oh my God. Um, and, and the roast hasn't even started. I get that, that's, that comes later. Um, well, I, I really do appreciate the opportunity to, uh, to be here. Um, tonight it is my 
uh, responsibility, and it really is my honor as well to tell you about and then to help present the 2015 Valley Patriot First Amendment Award. Uh, I'd like to call up John McLaughlin, be, uh, excuse me, McGough, uh, McDonald, uh, uh, I'm sorry, and uh, Mayor Lowell, Mayor, yes, Rodney Elliott, to, uh, to help present this award. Apparently, it's going to be very big, and I couldn't do it myself. Um, so, I guess, I don't know. You can tell I haven't been in the gym lately, I guess. So each year, I, I, most of you probably already know this, but each year the Valley Patriot uh, gives a First Amendment award to two individuals who show with their actions, not merely their words, that they value the First Amendment to our Constitution. Winners of this award have made a significant difference in transparency in government, they've acted in a bipartisan way to protect taxpayers, and have gone above and beyond the call of duty to defend and protect our right of free speech and a free press, freedom of religion, and they have taken great risks to be a whistleblower. Nominees for this award have made personal sacrifices to protect the First Amendment. Each nominee tonight should be very proud of their Valley Patriot nomination, whether they win or not. And before this is presented, I just want to tell you that what I feel is the spirit of this award. And it is a quote from one of the original Tea Partiers, a gentleman that a few of you may remember from your American history uh, by the name of Tom Paine. Thomas Paine, I think, got it right when he said, a body of men holding themselves accountable to nobody ought not to be trusted by anybody. That is what government accountability stands for. And so I'd like to ask uh, John to introduce the nominees. Now, it is really my honor to announce the first winner of the 2015 Valley Patriot First Amendment Award, and it goes to 2015, our very first tonight, Carol Sample. Did you actually turn the microphone on? You did. Uh, first, thank you very much. Seriously, I'm, uh, I and the radio station are very honored by this. But shh, I'm a little. Can we have some courtesy, please? I don't know whether I'm happier having stayed. I was the one that was trying to sneak out. <laughs> my, my wife is with Service Master right now and they're ripping out the walls and floors of our house because of the ice dams. But I don't know whether I'm happier that I stayed to receive this award or that I stayed for Tom um, Mullerini? What's Tom Mallory. Where's Tom Mallory? John Mallory, where, where is he? Did he leave? I have to say, not only did I, did I agree with everything that you said, you left a lot of things out. You could have gone more. And I also want to point out that most of us that were nominated for this award were defending Tommy Duggan's right to have freedom of speech. What I really want to point out is, of all the amendments to the Constitution, freedom of speech is probably the most important. Without freedom of speech, without free speech, could we worship as we wished? Would there be a free press? 
I think not. But there's one caveat with this. Just because you have the right to say something doesn't mean you should always say that something. With this tremendous opportunity and freedom comes a lot of responsibility. It was an honor to defend the Valley Patriot and Tommy on this particular case. But I'd also like people to realize that it is one of the most difficult things to defend. The most famous saying that revolves around freedom of speech is, I disagree with everything that you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. And so I'm proud to receive the award, not for myself, but on behalf of everybody at 980 WCAP who lives by that creed, and I know that the Valley Patriot does also, but again, the caveat, make sure when you exercise it that you're doing so in the spirit of why we have this. So thank you very much for putting up with getting this early, and thank you very much for the Very well deserved, Colonel.